Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at PHP if conditions. So, I've got a, a fictional yet uh, kind of real world example of a web shop, an e commerce web shop, and it's calculating delivery charges based on the shopping cart total. And it's doing that by um, running through a series of rules that I've defined here. So rules for delivery charges then, standard delivery charge is set to five pounds. And then the delivery charge is set to three pounds if the shopping cart has a total of 10 pounds or more. However, if the total of the shopping cart is over a hundred pounds, then the delivery is free. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is assign some variables. So we can do uh, delivery uh, cost and we're going to set that to be five because that is the uh, standard delivery charge. The next one I'm going to set is the cart total and we're just going to set that to be nine. Now that's going to be the shopping cart total bit here, this bit here. So now I can uh, create my if conditions. Now these if conditions will be uh, used to express these uh, these delivery charge rules and the if conditions will change the flow of the program and change how the delivery cost is calculated based on the cart's total. Now in PHP when you when you uh, format or create an if condition you do it like so. So you have an if uh, case uh, if and then brackets and then in, the, in those brackets you run a condition so it's condition A and if condition A is true, then you run a statement. So statement A. Now if condition A isn't true, you fall into an else section and you run statement B. Oops. So in PHP, you can also chain if, uh, if conditions together. So you could have an else if, and we run condition B. And we can also have another else block in here. So that will run statement C. So let's, uh, let me just explain what I've done here. So we're saying if condition A is true, then we run statement A. Else if condition B is true. So if condition A isn't true, but condition B is true, then we run statement B. Now, if neither of these are true, we fall into this bit here, which is the, the the last else section, and we run, we execute statement C. So basically, we have um, three possible outcomes: we have statement A, statement B, or statement C, and they depend on whether condition A is true, or condition B is true, or if neither of these are true, then statement C is run. So now I can apply um, the these delivery uh, rules and put them within the if block here and change the flow of the program and change the delivery cost based on the cart total. Okay, so let's, um, let's do that now. So what we need to do is look for what the condition is and what the statement is. So we're gonna take a look at the first one here. So the delivery charge is set to three pounds if the shopping cart has a total of 10 pounds or more. So in this case, the condition is this bit here where it says if the shopping cart has a total of 10 pounds or more. And the statement that we would run if that is true is to change the delivery charge to be three pounds. So let's add the condition. So the condition is checking the cart total and we're checking it that the checking the value of the cart total is greater than or equal to 10. So we would uh, put in an, a greater than symbol and then an equal to 10. Now this is the, the operator here. So where the cart total is greater than or equal to 10. And if that is true, then we run statement A. Now statement A is changing the delivery charge to be three. So we can change that here. So that's setting delivery cost is equal to three. Okay, so that's the first one sorted. So the second one then is this bit here where it says, however, if the total of the shopping cart is over a hundred pounds, then the delivery is free. 
Okay, so in this case, this, the uh, condition is this bit here where it says, if the total of the shopping cart is over 100 pounds, the statement in this case is this bit where it says, then delivery is free. So the condition is cart total is greater than 100. And the statement is, um, whoops, delivery cost is equal to zero. So we're saying uh, if the cart total is greater than 100, then we're going to set delivery cost equals zero. Now, what can we do with the default section? Well, the default section will be setting the delivery charge to the standard delivery, which is five. So we can move that bit into here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just quickly echo out some bits and pieces. So we're gonna echo out the, um, the cart total, and that is going to be concatenated with the, whoops, that's not right, with the cart total, like so. We're also going to um, create some new lines. So let's just run that as a new line, and then I'll just quickly copy that, put that there, change that to be the delivery, whoops. Uh, total, uh, just cost for clarity's sake, and copy that in there. So what I'm doing here is I'm just echoing out these strings here, which uh, are concatenated with the cart total and delivery cost. So the cart total is set to nine. Let's go and run that and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the cart total of nine pounds and the delivery cost is set to five pounds. So uh, what happened there? So the cart total is nine. The cart total is not greater than or equal to 10. So uh, this, can, this statement doesn't get executed. The cart total is also not um, greater than 100. So line 14 doesn't get executed. So therefore we fall into this default state, which is the delivery cost is set to five. And that's what we've done right there. Okay, let's change that to be 10. So if the cart total is greater than or equal to 10, so in theory, the delivery cost should be set now to three. So let's run that. And we can see the delivery cost has been set to three because we've fallen into this statement bit here. Let's make sure that we can fall into that statement when we're greater than 10. So let's say 11, for example. And let's run that. Yes, so we've fallen into this bit again because the cart total is 11 and it's greater than 10. Okay, so there's a fundamental flaw that you may have noticed in this if condition, and that is uh, this bit here where it's saying if the cart total is greater than 100. And I'll just demonstrate um, that that does fail. So let's do if cart total is 150. So really we should be falling into line 14 because the, um, the cart total is greater than 100, and we should be setting the delivery cost, therefore, to be zero. So let's just save that and run that again. Um, but we haven't. The delivery, delivery cost is set to three, which means that we've fallen into this case again. Now, why has that happened? Well, we've set the cart total to 150. It's obviously over greater than 100, um, but, the way uh, programming works is it runs from the top down, and so it checks the first condition first. And the first condition is uh, if the cart total is greater than or equal to 10. Well, in, in this case, it actually is because the cart total is 150, so it is greater than 10. So statement 12 gets executed. Um, and <clears throat> only one condition, only one statement will get executed in an if block. So we're not going to run any of these other conditions. So that doesn't get checked and we don't fall into the default bit here. So what we need to do is reorder the, um, the if conditions in a manner that uh, checks the highest amount first. So let's do that now. Let's, uh, let's just copy that, put that into here and then copy this bit here and move that into there, change the, um, whoops, let's 
let's fix that first. Let's then change that to zero and change that to three to match the rules. So now we're saying if the cart total is greater than 100, the delivery cost is zero. Else, if the cart total is greater than or equal to 10, delivery cost is three. Else, we're going to set the delivery cost to five. Now, this is basically a between statement. So we're saying if the cart total is greater than 100, um, but isn't greater than or equal to 10, then it's three. Okay, so let's run that and see. So we should have a delivery cost of zero, which it is It is the case. Now let's just double check that we can uh, put that back to 10 and fall into this bit here. Run that and we can see that the delivery cost is set to three. That's because the cart total is 10, which means that it's not greater than 100, which means that it's not gonna run this statement but it is equal to or greater than 10. So it will run that statement and we can just change that to be, um, let's change that to be 11 again and we should fall back into that statement like so, yep, three. So let's change that to anything less than 10. So less than 10 will fall into the default um, condition. So let's say set that to two and that there should be a delivery cost therefore of five. Uh, which is correct. Delivery cost is five. Okay, so um, the takeaway there is that you need to reorder the conditions in a manner that suits the application. Um, so there's no point in checking that the cart total is greater than 100 as the last condition that you check because um, the other conditions above it could also be true or are valid. Okay, so that's a, a quick and simple example of how to use if conditions in PHP and I've used a e-commerce um, delivery rule or set of delivery rules to explain that. If you've got any questions then please do let me know. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial. If you have any comments, questions or queries then please leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively you can tweet them to my Twitter handle which is PFWD. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.